Creoparametric A.0 features new sketching tools for your drawings that can boost your productivity. This demo shows a workflow for maintaining legacy imported drawings without its model. However, the tools can be also used for model views in the same way. First, you will find that the new snapping guides were added to the new sketch ribbon. These options let you decide what snapping types will be offered as you sketch your geometry. As I move the cursor along the geometry when sketching, the cursor will be snapping to other entities based on the selected snapping guides. In the case that you've sketched an entity but forgot to create it as a construction, you can quickly toggle it between solid and construction modes with this new shortcut menu option. You can also set the construction mode up front and create any shape with the construction lines. Dragging behavior of sketched entities was also updated. So as you select your entities and move them away to a new location, you will observe that you get representation for both the old and new placements, as well as on the fly dimensions and set of reference control tools for precise definition. In this case, I can use the new toolbar, define the reference for the sketching starting point, and input the exact dimensions for the sketched shape. The new tools also support mirroring, so you can quickly mirror your sketch and avoid the double work. Many of the new tools have several definition modes. For example, in this case, the slot actually needs to be rounded at the sides. So I can pick the relevant arc sketch type, pick the origin and the two ends, and quickly achieve the desired result. As I continue my workflow of updating this legacy drawing, I will add several reference lines to make sure that I correctly adjust the bottom view as well. When I need to add a reference for the geometry to be related to, I just need to hover over the reference and it will be added to the memory that will be reused as I sketch. Note that after I hovered over this vertical reference line, it is becoming easy for me to drag this circle and make it tangent. The same happens as I need to align the second circle. As I hover over the referenced origin, I immediately get the relevant guides. Finally, when I feel my sketching part is done, I can choose multiple sketch entities and decide that they will define a 2D draft view. Those views can be related to each other as projection views, be organized in the drawing tree to show their relations to each other, and also be scaled at once to fit my drawing. 